Hello guys and welcome to another day of Vlogmas. I'm here with Mikey. Hello. Say hi. <laughs> Sorry, that was a really quick spin around to you in the driver's seat, in the hot seat. So today is our wedding anniversary. It's our first year wedding anniversary. Yay. <laughs> Which I honestly... I can't believe we've made. Yeah, I can't believe we've made it this far. I thought we should be divorced by now. <laughs> No, I actually can't believe it's been a year though. That's just insane. Yeah, it's been so quick. Yeah, like how much has happened in that year? Some highs, some lows, and some middles. <laughs> <laughs> a few middles too. But yeah, we are off for a little romantic staycation to the Painswick, which is the hotel that we got married at. If you're not sure what that is, it's like a boutique hotel in Painswick. Painswick, the area. Where would you? Where is Painswick? Like Gloucester? It's near Stroud, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's like, is it considered Cotswold? I don't know actually. It's like the edge of the Cotswold. The edge of the Cotswold. It's basically Cotswold. Yeah, I'd say you village. could say it was like a Cotswold staycation. So yeah, we're going there and beforehand we're going to go to Cheltenham and have lunch at the Ivy which we actually did on the day we got engaged and we went to that yeah. chill, that ivy so we thought that would be nice and yeah and then we are staying at the Painswick, having dinner there and then tomorrow we're going candle making and bath which is going to be really nice yeah, so that. yeah it'll be fun really won't it nice, yeah. so that's in the afternoon so i thought i'd just bring you guys along for a couple of days of a weekend away probably lots of drinks and nibbles and stuff tonight but yeah. So we are just about to arrive at Cheltenham. We're just going to park, like, hopefully on the side of the road, the side of the road, <laughs> on the street. But we were just talking about some of our favourite memories from the wedding and, like, our best dressed people and kind of all of that stuff. Obviously, other than, like, immediate family bridesmaids, we... Oh, maybe I shouldn't say. Is it a bit rude? Well, oh, no, I think it's nice. We're going to say who was the best dressed. Oh, you're gonna say their name? Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, she's probably the only person I know that's a friend who watches my YouTube videos. So, Beth, if you're watching, we thought you were one of the best dressed. I feel like we've told her that anyway. But she wore like a pistachio suit, which was so nice, wasn't it? Yeah, I loved that with the pearl bag. Yeah, she had like a little pearl bag. Hair like parted behind the ears. Very fashionable. <laughs> and also, Jess with her big pony. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did actually really like that, did you not? Yeah, I did, but it's the way you said it. The big pony. You probably know if you're talking about her hair or her pony that she brought with her. <laughs> she had a big ponytail on the day and it looked lovely. Um, yeah, and then I said my favourite memory, honestly, everything was perfect. If you haven't seen our wedding video, you can find it on my channel. But we had a string quartet who played have yourself a merry little christmas when we walked down the aisle which was very special and even though it was kind of a blur which i know everyone says that wedding was a blur that was i think one of my favorite memories of the day it's kind of hearing that music and knowing that mikey was walking down the aisle and our bridesmaids were walking down the aisle and i was obviously the last one because i was the main event so it was the best <laughs> till last and yeah it was that was really exciting and then also after the ceremony like me and Mikey spent some time just the two of us and we had photos and then we watched the quartet and we went and looked at all the table decorations and all of that stuff and yeah I think that was very very special for me and what was your favorite memory Han? Um, just getting to watch you the main event <laughs> just getting to be in your presence getting to marvel in my <laughs> My yeah. day. Mine was the ceremony. Yeah, I mean, that, that was, was a long moment, but that is my favourite. Yeah, it was really nice. We that's actually my number one tip for anyone getting married. Not that I'm the Messiah of weddings, I'm not. But a hundred percent, if you can, do consider writing your own vows because even though it obviously can be quite scary, I know people when we were planning our wedding were saying like, oh, it's a bit cringe. Honestly, it's so worth it. I yeah. think you have it's like kind of the one opportunity you get to say something really like special and genuine, and you get to think about it for months before and say like 
exactly how you feel and you can ask for help from friends or family if you're not sure you'll be able to write something that feels worthy but I think it's just really meaningful and I will like remember your vows and mine forever yeah which is very nice yeah I think I thought I would hate that yeah I, I was really nervous about it but I did actually really like doing it well half half a bottle of champagne before the ceremony will help won't it it will that's another tip <laughs> yeah another <laughs> tip is just have a couple I think two is the sweet spot I think yeah. I had three or four and maybe that that's why it was a blur <laughs> Another favourite memory, definitely, from our wedding was in the wedding breakfast after the ceremony when just everyone was quite merry and quite drunk and we all started singing Christmas songs really yeah. loud. Was and it, it's beginning to look like Christmas. Yeah. yeah, and the venue turned the speakers up and they, they were so good, really accommodating and we were probably sounding like a group of drowned rats, yeah. like cats. But um, yeah, that was really, really special. Excited to relive it all this evening. Anyway, we're gonna be late for our lunch reservation and need to find somewhere to park. Bye. Hey guys, say hi. Hey. <laughs> so we've just had lunch at the Ivy and a wander around Bath. Well, no, we're not in Bath. We're in Cheltenham. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so used to saying we've just had a wander in Bath. But I am recording this on my phone because I left my camera in the car stupidly. But we went to Farrenbourne and picked up a couple of samples for a project that we're working on in the cottage. So I'm going to be doing some panelling myself, hopefully. And we going to... up there. Oh, did we? I no, I swear we were this side of the road. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's yeah, the, car. the car. So um yeah going to be attempting to get it all done before christmas but yeah we're just now getting back to the car picked up some paint colors we got jitney and pantalon is it pantalon yeah no. it's not pantaloon is it if it's not got two o's i don't know how much is that yeah so, so nice. nice oh yeah. god that's so nice like a glass festival let me flip the camera yeah how cool is that as a dining room guys just above the front door. Oh, let's have a look. Anyway, that kind of brings me on to what I was going to talk about. We basically, we really like Cheltenham, but when we were here for our engagement, so we got engaged staying at a hotel here, number 131. We got engaged twice, which I think I've shared the story in here before, but we yeah, got engaged her and had some really bad, like, homophobic abuse, basically, which was all reported by the police. And I know that can happen literally anywhere, but it definitely put us off coming to Cheltenham for a while, didn't it? Yeah. I feel like it just made us feel... It was just out on the street, though. But yeah, still. I mean, it could it could literally happen anywhere, but it definitely put us off from coming here. And before that happened, we were actually really considering moving to Cheltenham, weren't we? We yeah, always used to true, say, yeah. like, oh, I love Cheltenham, I'd love to live here. But yeah, when that happened, we just kind of put that to the back of our minds. But in terms of the area, it has like a lot going for it that suits us, kind of like or the architecture, like I just showed you. There's loads of nice interior shops, loads of small businesses that sell like men's fashion and loads of restaurants and bars and all of that kind of stuff, but it's not like a manic clubby kind of area. So yeah, it's really nice coming back here and seeing so many nice properties and kind of considering that again. So obviously we're gonna be looking for somewhere new, probably in the next few months time when we kind of decide what we're going to be doing with our cottage as well. But yeah, I'm trying not to think too much about it now because we can obviously think about all of that in the new year. But yeah, it's exciting, but focused on getting the cottage finished and enjoying it whilst we have it. <laughs> anyway, we are now just off to the Painswick, which is where we got married a year ago today. And I will show you around when we get there. Okay, guys, so we have just checked in to the hotel. We've actually, oh, the fire's gone out. Oh. So we've just lit the fire, but we had a call from the hotel, which was our wedding venue, and they actually have said that the 
the suite, like the top suite of the hotel that we stayed in on the night of our wedding it has become available like very last minute so they've offered us an upgrade which is so nice so yeah that's really exciting we actually had an upgrade on our honeymoon as well and last christmas so that's, why are we the queen of yeah the there's three upgrades in the last year so good karma is paying off for making our charity donations and being nice <laughs> <laughs> but i thought i'd show you a little tour of the room anyway because this is our favorite room at the hotel other than obviously the other one so you come in and you have this hall area somewhere nice to put the luggage nice window there's a wardrobe and this is mikey bending over oops okay <laughs> 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 take that off <laughs> yeah. This is the bathroom. I love the double doors here. I've actually done this on some design projects that I've worked on in the past inspired by this room because I love it. It's got this really nice green panelling, a small tubby bath, these really cute tiles. And then out here, got some very nice triple pleat curtains, pinch pleat. And then here's kind of why we love the room. It's got this drinks area with the fireplace and then the bed as well. And I love, one of my favourite things about this hotel is the peas embroidered on the bed linen, which I do not know why we haven't done that. I know. We need to do it. And then, yeah, it's just very, very nice. And yeah, there's a really nice like view over the village. So yeah, really, really pretty. And then the hotel as well. So Georgia, who was our wedding planner, who was amazing, she left us like a little card and then a bottle of Moe as well, which is so nice. So yeah, really, really delighted. So keep watching if you want to see the suite, <laughs> <laughs> the tour of the suite. <laughs> I think we, should we head down and get a drink from the bar? Yeah. And hopefully they'll move our bags for us. <laughs> Going straight in with the bottle of champagne, which is so nice. A bottle of, how do you say it, Mikey? No <laughs> Isn't it? Yes, it is. I'm gonna pop this open now and, oh, Mikey, let's do an outfit of the day whilst we're here. Yeah, I haven't opened it yet. It's fine, you can do it at the same time. We've got an All Saints reversible puffer. We've got- Waited till the Black Friday sales. Got it half price. Come in blue. <laughs> Uniqlo t-shirt, Zara vest, Sandro trousers, and limited edition Converse. How chic. <laughs> right, go on then, pop the bottle. Sorry guys, I'm sat on a chair, that's why there's this very awkward angle. Do I look horrible? No. <laughs> Ooh, yay! <laughs> okay, so we... Huh? Okay, so we've just come into the new room. Our, the wedding planner, actually, that we had, Georgia, showed us to the room, which was so nice. Nice to see her again. And we're going to go down and have a drink in the bar, I think, with her in a moment. But I thought I'd show you guys the room. Just, I love looking into people's houses and hotels and stuff. So I thought I'd show you. Okay, so you come in to the left and here's the bedroom which again is just so nice like the interior is very what would you say Mikey it's kind of like somewhere between ochre and like a country Cotswold life yeah it's like kind of like slightly scandy yeah like, it's similar to like dormy fox hill kind it's of like vibe. a modern country yeah the curtains and stuff I always think is so nice like done really well and, and the really windows it's not like you don't feel so like nice there's the view outside. And then, so either side you have this kind of like walkway, there's the TV there. And then in here you have, so this is where I got ready on the morning of the wedding. So I was looking in this mirror of myself in the suit. And then here's where I sat. Oh, it's not focusing. Here's the dressing area that I sat in and did like my skin and stuff. And then there's a balcony. What was it? Oh, it's locked. Help if I unlocked it. There's a balcony that looks out over the gardens, which is so pretty. We actually had loads of photos and stuff down there, which was nice, and over by the tree. And then we walked like round this lane and did all of our outdoor photography. There's a nice like seating area out there. Just so many nice windows. 
There's Mikey with a bottle. <laughs> and then there's a fire here. All of the wood, the kindling. And then over there is the entrance. And then here's the bathroom, which is my fave. So there's a roll top bath. Again, some nice windows with the tempered glass. And then there's the shower. So a very, very nice room and a really exciting upgrade that we obviously were not expecting at all, but yeah, it just makes it that little bit more special. So yeah, we're gonna finish the champagne now and then go down and have some drinks in the bar and enjoy dinner. Hey you guys, so it's now the next day, but I just thought I'd come on and round this video off. Sorry for how tired I'm looking. That might be a tell of the very fun night we had <laughs> the night before last, but we did candle making yesterday and it was honestly so, so good. We picked up a couple of things from the shop, which they actually said to us on our way out that they would be happy that, well not they would be happy, we just went to pay for these things, we loved it so much we wanted to buy a couple of bits from their like, gift shop which had some really lovely pieces and they said to us that it's an anniversary gift from them to us which is so nice. So I got this glasses case which says finders peepers on and it's in a blue gingham which I thought was just really cute and quite me and then we also got this meal planner which I thought was really nice and it has like a weekly planning kind of document in it with all of the measurements and it also my favourite bit was you can rip this list off so it's got like a perforated, is that what it's called? Yeah, a hedge there so you can fold, rip it and take it to the supermarket so I will definitely make use of that and probably actually do that in a little bit. So yeah, that was really nice. I really, really recommend it. I'm actually thinking of booking for my mum for a little Christmas present. So yeah, I thought that would be nice. Anyway, I am cracking on with work this morning and then I'm actually going to be starting on a very exciting DIY project, which I'm hoping will be in the next couple of Vlogmas episodes. Oh God, I can hear the dogs downstairs. <laughs> They are play fighting. Um, yeah, I'm hoping that'll be in the next couple of episodes, but last week I had a very good friend come over and help me with some DIY. Dogs, Stormy, come on then. They're so silly, honestly, sorry about the noise. Yeah, some, a friend came over and helped with some DIY panelling, which I actually did most of it myself. They were a big help in terms of teaching me how to use the cutter and how to like glue it and stick it all to the walls but I will be starting that room makeover in probably the next video or the next couple but I'm going to get on with filming it after I've done some emails and some other work so yeah please do stay tuned for that and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss it. Thank you so much for watching guys, see you soon, bye!